Hi everyone, Tom Mills. Uh, our bunk bed video uh, just recently hit a million views, so thank you all for that. That's wonderful. Uh, but we still get a lot of questions as to how we made them. And so that's going to be this video. If you're interested in knowing how they're made or maybe making some of your own, uh, we're going to go over some of what I thought about, what we did when we did them, and uh, some of the considerations to take. I also have some plans uh, that I drew up when I was making them, and I'll let you guys have those. I'll, be, I'll put a PDF uh, download down in the comments or in the uh, description of the video and you can download those. But it's essentially just a freestanding uh, bunk bed set that I made uh, all by itself. And then the cubbies, the cubbies is just put on the outside. It's more of a facial thing. It's just a, a fascia over the top of the, uh, of the bunk beds that makes them look like they do and give them that little cubby space. Uh, but we'll go over those. Let's, let's go in there right now. All right, so this is our basement here. We really built this room. It was an uh, empty slate, and so we knew we were going to put a bunch of kids in the room, so we really had the luxury of being able to make it pretty much as wide as we needed it to be. So uh, we made sure to make it to where we could fit one bunk along the side here and another bunk this way and decided to put the door right here just so it would miss both of those bunks so we had that luxury if you don't have that luxury you're going to have to figure out how the logistics of how it actually will work on uh, on your on on your setup on the bunks themselves here's the setup uh, you want to take into consideration you're going to need uh, about two and a half foot or more of headspace from the mattress all the way to the ceiling for them to be able to sit up. If they can't sit up in the bed, it's going to be uh, miserable. So in our case, uh, in order to make that work, this bottom bunk is pretty much sitting right on the floor, and this one is uh, halfway in between. We basically took the height of the whole room, uh, subtracted off the width of the mattresses. Um, I went ahead and subtracted off the weight of, width of a 2x6, which is 5.5 inches twice, and then divided that remaining space in half and made that be how high we go. So you're going to have to adjust that accordingly. Hi, what are you doing? I'm taking this. You making that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so like I said, the bunks are freestanding units. We started by putting a 2x6 on the wall, directly on the wall, across all the studs, attached to each stud, and then did the same on this wall with a 2x6. And we also finished the square off on this side with a 2x6 all along, uh, screwing it into the existing one that's fastened on the studs there. This side, was there's, there was no stud here. So we, uh, we attached this 2x6 onto the 2x6 on the stud on that wall and to the 2x6 on this side. And since there was no other support on this side, there's no studs, I put this, run this 2x4 up along the whole thing and this goes all the way to the bottom one where there's another box of two by sixes that go around the edge so that's where it gives it all its strength uh, after that i pre-made these little inserts it's two two by threes here one there one on each side and then with one by fours run along in each one and screwed into in place so then i just dropped it in and attach this insert to the two by sixes that were there. The bottom bed is the same way. So as so this, the actual cubby part here, is actually just a piece of wood, just attached to the existing beds that are already there. So it's just uh, just gives it the looks. It's also what gives them all their privacy. This is three quarter inch sanded plywood, birch I believe is what it said. I think it said it was. Um, but at Home Depot is like 36 bucks for a 4x8 sheet and uh, worked cut pretty easy. The shelves are just one inch square blocks attached to the wall in a stud where possible. So there's a stud in the corner there and we didn't get so lucky that there's a stud on all of them uh, but they're pretty sturdy nonetheless. And then over here on the other side it's attached to the the plywood on the outside. These are one foot deep and tried to make one foot uh, height, uh, but we didn't have quite enough headspace to make that possible. So there's one foot on the, on the middle and there's a little less than a foot on the top 
and the bottom. You got these climbing rocks at Home Depot. They're surprisingly expensive, but I fastened those on to the outside for them to climb up. And then these little handle there for them to climb in. And we put one on around each side of the bunks. And the top bunk's pretty much the same way, only at the top here. I don't know if you can see it. There's another two by three here along the wall, along the ceiling, across the rafters, where we can fasten the rest of the uh, plywood to it for structure. Here in the corner, you can't see it because it's painted the same. I put a little uh, two by two uh, just piece of wood there so the corners can screw together without having to rely on fastening the back plywood with this plywood uh, directly. Also to consideration the, uh, the length, um, the normal mattress is 75 inches long for a twin. Uh, ours is, we did 76 inches from here to here. Uh, right here, this measurement. And, uh, and then we have an extra foot here that we can add on for, uh, for the shelves. And also, uh, if you remove this bottom shelf, there's room for an extra long twin mattress as it becomes necessary if the boys get to be too tall. But I slept on a regular twin my whole life, and I'm 6'2", and it was it was fine. I actually prefer my feet hanging off the bed. It makes it uncomfortable to me if they're on there at all. So I guess that's just a, something that happens as you, if you're a tall person you've got to deal with. The opening is... Uh, Pretty much three foot by four foot. It's a little bit less than that. Uh, your opening will have to vary depending on how much space you actually end up using. But uh, we do three foot ten. It's an arbitrary number for the width there. And uh, these corners turn over a one foot distance. So uh, they start turning at a foot and they end, stop turning over a foot. And you can use those measurements to figure out exactly how to cut it. But it's just a round edge. Doesn't really matter too much. That's pretty much it. Um, they were pretty, a lot simpler than probably they look. It, the effect is really great. The kids love them and uh, allows us to put uh, all of our boys in the same room, which is great. So if I missed anything big, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll answer those questions. Um, good luck. If you decide to make them on your own, let me know. Uh, or put a, give us a picture or something. That'd be great. Um, talk to you next time.